transcript for Roy Moore may have gotten a boost from President Trump. Let's turn to politics now. Senate candidate Roy Moore getting a boost from President Trump. Moore denying the claims of UAL abuse against him, more strongly than ever, even as a dramatic new ad of his opponent features the faces of those women. It comes as we hear from a second woman that accuses Senator Al Franken of groping her, and new details about claims against another sitting lawmaker. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. Reporter Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore may have gotten a lifeline with these words from the president. Roy Moore denies it. That's all I can say. He denies it. And by the way, he totally denies it. Reporter Moore's campaign tweeted out video of the president's comments, and Moore followed up by emphatically denying the allegations of UAL misconduct from eight women, some of them who were young teenagers at the time. He'll tell you, I didn't have any wrongful relationships and he engage in any UAL misconduct with an underage woman. Reporter two weeks ago, his denials were decidedly less definitive. Do you remember dating girls that young at that time? Not girl generally, no. But if I did, you know, I'm not going to dispute anything, but I don't remember anything. Reporter in a dramatic new ad, Moore's Democratic challenger, Doug Jones, lists Moore's accusers, by name. They were girls when Roy Moore morally pursued them. Now they are women, witnesses to us all of his disturbing conduct. Will we make their abuser a U.S. Senator? Reporter since the Moore story broke, there's been an avalanche of accusations against other politicians, including Democratic Senator Al Franken, who took this picture seeming to grope a woman on a USO tour. A second woman says Franken grabbed her from behind at the 2010 Minnesota State Fair. You're going to take a photo with Senator Franken, what happens? So, my his steps away from us to take the photo. I stand next to Senator Franken and he pulls me in towards him and then he moves his hand to my butt. Reporter in the House, an investigation has already been launched into accusations against the longest-serving member of Congress, Democrat John Conyers, following reports in BuzzFeed that two different women accused him of UAL misconduct. Conyers denies the charges, but he paid one of the women, a former staffer, more than $27,000. And tonight, a third woman, Melanie Sloney, has gone on the record with The Washington Post saying Conyers verbally abused her and once summoned her to his office where she found him dressed in his underwear. John Carl joins us from the White House. John, tonight, another member of Congress is apologizing, this time are a naked picture posted. Reporter Congressman Joe Barton acknowledges that it is a picture of him. It's unclear who posted it. And there have been no allegations of wrongdoing, although Barton says he is sorry he did not use better judgment during a time when he was separated from his second wife. Tom, Jonathan Carl for us tonight. John, thank you. This transcript has been automatically generated and may not be 100% accurate.